Upcycling is the process of converting waste material into something that has a new and better value to it. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use bottle caps to make three different types of necklaces. So first you need to collect some bottle caps. I have this cup in my room where I just fill it with a bunch of different bottle caps that I really like the patterns from. Here is a bunch of them all laid out. You see I have a bunch of different types and brands. Some of them are alcoholic, some of them not. The vintage sodas have great caps on them. And then the first step you want to do is wash out the caps because sometimes they leave a sticky residue. For the first one we're going to do real simple and it's going to be a top sticker art. So I have a yellow one and a black one and I'm just going to be putting some kawaii stickers on top. And what's great is with the clear sticker backings you can pretty much place it over the bottle cap and see if it covers your design or not. For all three designs you'll need to figure out where you want the hole to turn them into charms. So I took a sharpie and put exactly where I want the hole to be made. And for the hole making you will need a nail and a hammer and a piece of strong wood to do it on. If you are not old enough please please ask for help from your parents. To make the hole, all I did was line up the nail to where I drew the dot on the inside because this is a much safer way than to do it on the outside and hold it and just hammer a little bit at a time because you don't want to get too crazy with it and hurt yourself. And you'll see me doing it over and over again and I double check and triple check and quadruple check to make sure that I have the nail in the right place and it will not slip out of my hands. And this is just a safety precaution and like I said please ask for your parents help to do this and as you can see I have the little hole made and you need to make sure that the hole is big enough to fit your eye pin but not too big that it will slide out now that we have our holy bottle caps, all we have to do is place our stickers exactly where we want them. And as you can see, some have larger designs, so I kept peeling this one up and putting it back down until I was perfectly happy with the positioning. Now time for the glossy accents. This stuff is great. You can use resin is a substitute but this stuff is so much easier and so much faster. You just want to spread it around the surface covering the sticker completely and make sure there are no bubbles and let it sit and dry for a couple hours. Here the pieces are fully dried now it's time to turn them into charms so all I did is pull the head pin through the back, chop it to size and then round it so it is a loop. And it's that simple. Now to finish it off, all I did was grab a ball chain and stick it through the hole. And there we go. There is our first necklace. It was super simple and super easy. The next style, we're going to be using the inside of the bottle cap to create words. So I only got four because I'm going to make the word desu. So when you choose words, you want to choose short ones so that people can see them. And for this, I need a background color and I'm using black glitter. And then I got these sticker letters that are sparkly and they fit in the bottle cap perfectly. Since we're going to be stringing the letters together to make the words, we want to poke holes on each side of the bottle cap and then like we did before, put in the head pin and make the loops so we can stick them together. Now I'm using some clear school glue to fill in the inside of the bottle caps so that the glitter has something to stick to. You can use glossy accents but it's much cheaper to use the school glue and it works about the same. I'm tapping the edge of the bottle cap to distribute the glitter and take out some of the excess overspillage. Then we want to set these out of the way and let them dry for a little bit. I kind of didn't wait all the way to add the letters, so I guess you don't have to really wait all the way either, but I do suggest it. So I just press the letters in and make sure that they are straight with the sides of it. 
And since the weird rubber edging of the bottle cap didn't get covered by glitter, I ended up using this nail polish and it's like the Hunger Games nail polish. It matched my glitter perfectly, so I just ran that around the edge. Next it's time to add the glossy accents, so you just kind of want to pull it in there, but not too much, so I kind of swirled it around. And then this is optional, but I took a little gem and placed it in the top left corner of every letter, and that was just a cute little accent that I decided to add. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it was cute. Once you're done, you want to set these out away to let them dry, and the thicker the glossy accents you put in it, the longer time it needs to dry. So I think I just left these overnight to dry, and here's how they look. So to put them together, all I did was open up the ring I made and close it back up and attach them together. It was that easy. To make it into a necklace, all I did was open the end chain, slide the necklace chain in, and close it back up. And I didn't film it, but I added a necklace toggle in the middle later. So there you have it, our word necklace. So this was a little bit harder than the last one with more details, but I still think it is pretty easy to make. Our last style is the bottle cap bib necklace. This one has a lot less supplies, but it's a lot harder because of the way we construct it. So I picked out the bottle caps with the designs on the front that I really enjoyed. There's some vintage ones here. And you want to make sure that they're in like a pyramid formation when you pick it out. So right here where these lines are, are where we're going to be making the holes and where we're going to attach the bottle caps together. So as you can see, I made the holes and made sure they connected together. Like we did before, I put the head pins in, chopped them short, and made them into rings. But this is only for the top two left and right bottle caps where the necklace is going to be connected. The rest, I'm going to be using these giant jump rings to attach them together. And I know this is not the way you're supposed to open a jump ring, but this is the only way you can actually get them to go through the bottle cap. So I just closed them up and it, you need to make sure it's really important that you close up the jump ring really tight where they overlap each other or else the bottle caps might fall off. They did a few times when I did this. So you just connect them all where you have your design displayed and here's what I was talking about about the jump rings. So here is my finished bib. Of course you can add more or less if you would like. And I added a bronzy type chain to give it that vintage feeling. And all I did was open up the eye of the head pin that I made for the corners and slip in the chain and close it up. And then I ended up opening up the chain in the back to add the lobster clasp and the eye or the jump ring for the class to go into. So here it is, my finished bib necklace. I really like the way this looks. It's very unique but also very cool and artsy feeling. And I think it was a little bit harder to do but it gives a great look. So that was all three upcycled bottle cap necklace tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you do make this please leave a video response down below. I would love to see your creations and look forward to more upcycling tutorials to come. Bye guys!